Hey everyone, Sasha here and I'm back with a soft glam summer makeup look. This look is all about glowy skin with pops of highlight using a lot of warm and champagne tones. This look is also very wearable for daytime or perfect for night. So if you guys want to know how to get this look, let's go ahead and get started. Lately I've been layering primers. I'm going to start with the Makeup Forever Hydrating Primer and just using my fingers I'm going to apply this all over my face. Next I'm going to go in with the smoothing primer and I'm only going to apply this in the areas where I have large pores and texture. Next I'm going to apply my favorite foundation of all time, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. And I just love this foundation because it's super long wearing. Perfect foundation for summer, also if you have oily skin this is going to be great. And the reason why I'm actually applying it this way is because the Beauty Blender tends to soak up a lot of products. So I like to apply the foundation and lay it down on my face first and then blend everything out. It just makes everything so much easier to blend and it saves a ton of product. Next I'm taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard and I love using this as a highlight and a concealer in one. So as you can see I'm applying it towards the center of my face to highlight. I'm also doing what I call pre-nose contouring, so I'm setting my lines here and this is going to act as a guideline for when I actually contour my nose a little bit later. And of course I'm going to blend all that out using the tip of my beauty blender. Now once I have everything blended out, you can kind of see just looking at my nose that it's already a little bit contoured just from that one little trick. Now to set all of my makeup, I'm taking the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder and I'm just using a Real Techniques brush to press the powder into my skin. Now it's time for brows and this is my go-to right here, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Medium Brown and also her number 12 angle brush. Honestly the best combo ever and if you guys want a more in-depth tutorial on how I do my eyebrows I actually have an entire tutorial and I will link it down below. Next I'm going to apply my eye primer which is the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. If you guys have never tried this primer it goes on very creamy and dries down to a nice matte finish. Next I'm going to take the latest palette from Anastasia which is the Modern Renaissance and I'm taking this color called Raw Sienna, the perfect warm brown shade for the crease and I'm applying this right in my crease using a MAC 227 brush. Next I'm going to switch over to a MAC 217 brush and using the same color, Raw Sienna, I'm going to start defining the outer V shape of my eye. Next I'm going in with this color called Primavera which is a gorgeous champagne gold and I want this to go on really intense so I'm going to go ahead and spray my brush with the Urban Decay setting spray after I've applied the product on my brush and here I am just pressing the product in and as you can see it's going on really intense and it's going to look super gorgeous and glowy. And I don't want there to be any harsh lines so I'm just going back with my 217 brush and just blending out any harsh edges. Next I'm going to take the shade Cypress Umber and I'm going to apply this with a flat shader brush from Morphe. I don't exactly know the name of it but I will have it linked down below. And I love doing this because it makes my eyes look bigger and it doesn't look as harsh as eyeliner. Next I'm blending it all out with the transition shade that I used above which was the Raw Sienna and I switched over to a MAC 39 brush and as you can see it just looks a lot more blended and just makes my eyes look a lot bigger. Now I'm just switching back to the small Morphe brush and I'm just defining my eyes using the Cypress Umber again which is that dark brown color. Now using that same exact shade and same exact brush I'm going to start creating a really soft and smoky liner. I've been doing this a lot lately and been really loving it. I had to take a break from my usual um, gel eyeliner and I've just been really loving this. It's really soft and as you can see it's giving me this really soft and natural cat eye which I'm kind of obsessed with. For my mascara, I'm going to take this Buxom Lash Mascara and surprisingly this is very very voluminous. When I first put it on I was like okay it just gives a little bit of definition but after you really build it up it gives a lot of volume which I'm all about. So now I have my mascara on, this is how my eyes kind of look and it's time for lashes. If you guys know me, I love individual lashes. I either just apply them individually or I stack them right on top of regular strip lashes. But today I'm going to go ahead and just apply this with 
my tweezers and it does take a little bit of time but look how gorgeous and pretty it looks if you guys want a video on how I apply individuals let me know below next I'm gonna highlight the inner corner of my eyes and I'm just using a Luxie pencil brush for contouring, I always love using a bronzer, so today I'm using the IT Cosmetics bronzer and I'm just taking a MAC contour brush and sculpting out my cheekbones as per usual. And I'm just using a MAC 227 blending brush to sculpt out that nose and as you can see here, it's a lot easy for me to kind of just follow the line since I went ahead and did a little bit of the pre-contouring earlier. Now I'm going to add a little bit of color and glow to my face, so I'm taking the Becca and Jaclyn Hill face palette and taking this shade called Amaretto, which is this beautiful toasted almond color, perfect for every day, and I'm just applying that all over my cheeks. And last but certainly not least, we're going to take Champagne Pop and apply that on the high points of the face using the Anastasia highlighting brush. I love this brush by the way. And I'm also going to add a little bit of highlight on my cupid's bow and then down the bridge of my nose and this is going to give this whole look a nice and glowy finish. And lastly for my lips, I'm using the NYX lip liner in the color Natural. This is one of my favorite nude lip liners and I'm pairing that up with one of my favorite nude lipsticks which is the Edward Best lipstick in the color Pure Impulse. And here's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!